Hi, this is Jeff from the Front Range Community College Library, and today we are going to talk about how to use ProQuest and how to have it uh, generate an APA citation for you. A lot of classes, writing classes, history classes, things like that ask for MLA citations, but if you're in a science class, psychology class, medical class, nursing class, CNA class, that kind of a thing, they use the sciences and medical classes usually ask for APA. So what I'm going to do, it's just as easy as getting an MLA one. Let me just uh, open up an article here. I'm doing some diabetes research here today. I have diabetes in the title and sugar in the title of all the articles. So let's say I want to use this article. Uh, there's an easy way to get an APA citation. If I click Cite, this button right there, click Cite. Versus the first thing it's going to do, by, by default, it's going to generate an MLA citation because that's the most commonly used citation at this school. But we can change it. Just click this arrow, and then we can choose APA 6th. That's the latest APA edition. And then click Change, and then it's going to change it into an APA citation. Okay. From there, we can just highlight all this text and copy it. And we can copy that into a Word document. So here's the last page of my APA paper where I'm showing all my references that I used for the page, for the paper. So I have it labeled references, and I'm pasting in the text from that APA citation. And once it goes in, it looks pretty good, but we're going to have to correct a few things about it. First, the things I noticed, the text should be Times New Roman 12 point. The, the font color should be a little bit darker, and we should have a hanging indent where it moves these the second and third lines over half an inch. So let's highlight all this stuff. We can make these corrections pretty easily in Word. I'm going to go up here to Home, and then I'm going to click Times New Roman for the font. Make it 12 point. Now for the font color, it's a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do is go in here, this little button here with the A on it, that can we can control the font color. I'm going to change it to just a standard black. So once again, I clicked on there and chose black in there. Now it, uh, you'll notice it matches there, the color matches now. Then we have to do a hanging indent. So you do that right here where it says paragraph. I'm going to click this little arrow on paragraph. Change it to a hanging indent right there where it says special. Make sure it's a half an inch. And the spacing should be double spacing. And don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Okay. There, I fixed it. Now this URL and this doesn't hurt anything, but it's pretty awkward looking. You really only need to retrieve from searchproquest.com. So what we can do is just delete this stuff right there. And just take it back to the .com part. That's showing you the database that it came from. Now let's just look over this and, and make sure everything looks right. In, in, in APA, they like to see the first letter capitalized and the rest of the word small, unless it's a proper noun or a proper title. So it looks a little funny, but that is the way that APA likes to see things. And everything else looks pretty good. So there we have a citation. Now something that's a little bit annoying that happens a lot. If I hit enter, it's probably going to, Word is probably going to convert this URL into an active link. And there it did. So see when it turned blue? That's going to look a little funny when you print it out or when you turn it in. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to highlight this to make it back into just normal text. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click on that highlighting. And then I'm going to cl click Remove Hyperlink. And just remember, if you hit Enter again, it's going to do it again. So <laughs> I've hit Enter, so I have a line down here I can go back to. I'm going to highlight this again, right click on it, Remove Hyperlink. Then instead of hitting Enter, I'm just going to go down to the next line for my next citation. OK, let's go back and grab another citation. Let's see where I have my. Here we go. OK, so I'm going to go back to results. And I'm going to grab the next article here. And when this comes up, we're just going to do the same process we did on the last one. Now, this one opened directly up to the full text of the article. Sometimes that will happen. That's OK. What we can still do from the full text, we can do this as well. I'm going to click Cite. That button is in here as well. Now, since the last one we pulled up, we told it to change it to an APA. It remembers that since we're in the same search session. And the database assumes, oh, OK, you want uh, what you're wanting is APA instead of MLA. So it just did it automatically this time, which is kind of nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy this text and highlight that, copy. And I'm going to paste it into the Word document again. That time I hit Control-V 
which you can also do to paste documents in. Okay, now um, we're going to change these things we changed on the last one. So we're going to change it to Times New Roman, 12 point. And notice how, see how it's a slightly different color? It's not quite as dark, so we're going to change that. Go to that A, click on the black, okay? We need to go to paragraph now to set the hanging indent. Hanging, double, don't add extra space. And it's looking pretty good. Now this is something kind of interesting. On the first article it says retrieved from searchproquest.com. This one says DOI. What that means is digital object identifier. And this is the, the preferred thing for APA if you find it online. This is kind of like a, a serial number for this digital article. And APA likes to see that. If not all articles have this though, so if it doesn't have a DOI, you're supposed to put retrieved from the database. But this one does have a DOI, so the database generated that for us, which is nice. So this one's done. So it's looking pretty good. The thing we, we do need to do though with these, with these notice how it needs to be in alphabetical order. So Hager would come before Wang. So what we're going to do, you could just cut, cut and paste them in order. But what I'm going to do, let's assume the, the cutting and pasting to put them in alphabetical order gets really old if you have like 20 resources, references you're working with, which is not uncommon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all these. I'm going to click this A to Z button for sort. And just click OK and then it put them in alphabetical order by author. So that is the basics of how you get an APA citation from ProQuest. Please contact me if you have any questions about this. Thanks a lot.